my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Lunchables. Are you excited? Yes, I'm hungry! We have Denise on board with us at the Mobile Lizzie's Lounge. We have a whole bag of Lunchables. Oh my gosh. We got the nachos. We got the, what is Bologna? Chicken nuggets, pizza. So we're gonna go here. This is the first one. Okay. <gasps> we're gonna start with the pepperoni made with pork and chicken and mozzarella. And this one is the first one we're gonna try. Okay. I love Lunchables. Me too. Brings back memories. I know. Being in this school bus, I'm like, oof. Lunchables were the best. Does anyone actually eat Lunchables in the yeah. school bus? Yeah, did you not? You ate lunch on the school bus? Well, maybe not on the school bus because you have to like build it. Oh, my cheese is all stuck together. Yeah, same. I feel like they used to give bigger pieces of cheese, no? No, I agree. These are like so half the size they usually I know, are. I feel like they were like this long back in the day. They what's used to be on? this big. Yeah. They're budget cuts. Yeah. Maybe they're not getting enough customers. Yeah, what's going on, Lunchables? And the pepperonis used to be way thicker. Look how thin <gasps> that is. Comment down below if you guys think this is just conspiracy theory. All right, cheers. Cheers. I feel like the pepperoni quality is higher. Hmm. That's I why they went thinner. These crackers. Mm -hmm. Are these Ritz crackers? I think so. Yum. Oh my gosh. 250 calories, 7 grams of fat, 700 milligrams of sodium, and 3 grams of sugar per package. How much do kids eat these days? Do they eat that little of cat? Like, this is not a lunch. Yeah. This is the basic lunch. I think they need more snacks to go with it. That's a lot of sodium though. What do you rate this out of one out of 10? This one's a solid eight out of 10. It's like a good snack. But it's supposed to be a lunch. Oh, for a lunch? Oh, it's a snack. It's not a lunch. It's like for a lunch, it's like a three. I'm still hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give this like a four because it tastes really good. But I know for a fact, based on my Lunchable knowledge, it's definitely not my favorite. Why do they have so many cracker snack ones? I feel like they're always cracker snack ones, Lunchables. I know, but I don't remember the bologna one. Whoa, wait, what? They have breakfast? They have breakfast! <gasps> Brunchables! Brunchables! <laughs> oh my gosh, have you guys ever tried these? Wait, we have to do these before the lunches. Oh yeah. I didn't even know they had Brunchables. Okay, Brunchables, Okay, let's go. so you can try the breakfast ham and cheese and I'll try the bacon and cheese. Okay, wow. Oh my gosh, do you see this little muffin? Oh, it's so cute! It's like the cutest little muffin in the world. Oh my gosh, look at this little sandwich. This is so cute. Comment down below if you guys have ever tried these Brunchables. I'll make you one and then you'll make me one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, there's only two pieces of bacon in here. They there's only enough for one sandwich. Uh oh. Oh wait, maybe you only put one in there. It's an art. The way I, put it it's together. really intelligent how they like make you build it yourself. <laughs> like, okay, it says a lot about you how you make yours. Made. Okay, thanks. Okay. Here, and then I'll make one for myself. And compare. So this is the ham and cheese, and this is the bacon and cheese. Here we go. Hmm. This is the world's smallest breakfast. <laughs> Is it not? Like, I used to eat a breakfast bagel, which is probably like 500 calories. Yeah. And this is only 230. This is not, I feel like there's not enough ratio, like meat to bread. Yeah. The but they did thin. make the bread really thin, which I appreciate. Yeah. Because they're trying to make sure it doesn't just taste bready. But it still tastes bready. But <laughs> okay, this so. is probably their first iteration of Brunchables, so that's probably why it's not the best. Try the muffin. It's their first iteration. <laughs> Like, when did they come out with this? Wait, not the bacon? You gonna try the muffin next? I tried both of them. Oh, you did? I, I didn't try the bacon one. Oh, the bacon one's pretty good. Mmm. Okay, this bacon is straight sugar. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What? This has five grams of sugar. Try the muffin. It's so sugary. I mean, it's so good. It's really sweet. Mmm. It's good. Mm hmm. You know what it reminds me of? Remember those little bites? The muffin bites? The Little Debbie ones? Yeah. No, are they Little Debbies? I don't know. <laughs> Where did Little Debbie come from? Little Bite's my favorite. Really? So good. Yeah. That's what this tastes like. I think the muffin's a star of the show. 
The muffin's definitely the best. Oh, hold oh, up. Yeah. I got a surprise for you. Lunchable cookie dunks. Dessert. Whoa, dirt cake. And s'mores poppers. Are you kidding me? Is Lunchables like trying to like step up their game? Since oh. when? I love how this is the same amount of calories as a regular Lunchable. Oh. <laughs> Let's stick to the foods and we'll do the desserts at the end. That sounds smart. I'm so excited for the dessert. Yeah. Here we have, oh, this is the best Lunchables pizza. Okay, how are we doing this? Have you had it? So yeah, you have the minute. pepperoni, I have extra cheesy. Wait, there's one more. <gasps> Supercharged. Oh, wow. This is for the big kids. Oh, wait, we forgot to do the chicken nuggets. Liz, we have so many, we still have to try. I still have bologna. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, let's do the bologna and I'll, and we'll, the chicken nuggets. Should we get through the cracker? Okay. Wait, we didn't rate. We're getting sidetracked. Okay, hold We'll on. just pick what our favorite one is at the end. Okay. I've never had the chicken nuggets one, and frankly, I find it kind of gross that you just eat the chicken nuggets. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like it's weird. cold. But it does come with Oreos okay. and ketchup. That looks good. This looks scary. Scary. <laughs> Look at the bologna. Yeah. Why is it that color? Well, maybe we, if you eat it, it changes color. But look how thick the bologna is compared to the pepperoni. The pepperoni used to be this thick. Bologna's thicker. Okay, make me one and then I'll make you a chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. You just eat cold chicken Here, nuggets? I made you a sandwich. I am too. The chicken nuggets are actually pretty Wait, good. where's my chicken nugget? Oh, sorry. I ate it. What? <laughs> They're actually like not bad, right? Just cold chicken nuggets. <laughs> good. Mmm. This is good. Yeah. There's cookies. I actually like this better than the bologna. The bologna? And I'm not really a bologna fan. But I'm not gonna lie, the chicken nuggets are my favorite. So far. So far. Let's try it. But this. I think that's just because I love ketchup. <laughs> it's good, right? Mmm. Yeah. What a throwback. Yeah, it's bringing back memories. I'll trade you an uh, Oreo for a cookie. Okay, sure. Are these like actually Oreos or are they like Lunchable branded? It looks like Lunchable branded. Yeah, because it's gonna have the Oreos symbol. It's like double stuff. I was just gonna say, is that double stuff? It like, it's thick. yeah, it's thick. Really? There's a lot of um, like the middle part, mm. right? Mm. I'm gonna try the cookie. Those are better than Oreos. Whoa, is the cookie supposed to be soft? Ooh. That's impressive. Eh. Or is it not? I'm not the big a fan of a cook this cookie. I'm not a big fan. Really? I like it. You do? Mm-hmm. I like the Oreo is better. Okay. Okay, okay. We have dessert coming. Let's not get too full. We have like 10 more lunches. <laughs> the next up we have lunchable nachos. These are fire. So I think like this is the last like snack lunchable. And then we're gonna get into the real foods. This one was my favorite growing up. Why? I don't know. It's just like so many, I feel like. Well, now I look at them and I'm like, wow, they're so teeny. <laughs> look how small they are. They're so cute. Were they always this tiny? I think so. Okay. All right. Dink it and sink it. Yes, did you do, you that? do both. Yes, do both. But which one did you do first? Cheese. Why? Because I think the cheese is heavier. So then it, it like stays on and then the salsa doesn't slide off as. Oh, that's a technique. I think. Okay, I don't remember these being so tiny. <laughs> They're so little. I remember be them being the same size as like the Ritz crackers. No, I think they were this small, but it makes it feels like you have so much more food. They're so little. What do you think about these? Bring back memories? Yeah, it's not as good as I remembered it being. <laughs> really? It's actually pretty fire to me. I'm so hyped for the pizza. All the cool kids had Lunchables. So far out of all of these section ones, which one's your favorite? Probably the Nugs. Chicken Nuggets? Yeah. Well, I wish they gave me more Nugs. Yeah, there was only four in there. <laughs> you? Probably the nachos. Or honestly the bologna, which I like would never have like thought I would be that person. Yeah. Can you be quiet, Mr. Crow? We're filming. Maybe he wants a lunchable. <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> now we're gonna move on to the nitty gritty. But first, Denise didn't tell us her most embarrassing lunch story. When I was that young, I would 
eat my lunch so fast so I could rush down and have more time on the playground to play recess. That's not embarrassing. Well, that's all I did. You, that's all I could think of. It's not really like, have embarrassing. Have you ever fallen or? Oh yeah. At always. lunch, I'm out of ideas. You don't have an embarrassing. Your lunch turn. Story? What's your embarrassing lunch okay, story? Okay, fine. Do you have any embarrassing bus stories? <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. I never. I've never done anything embarrassing in my entire life. <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she fell twice. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. See, I, I think I get more embarrassed when I'm older. Your turn. So I never really took the bus as a kid because I lived right next to my school and I would just walk to school. The one time I took the bus home, I fell asleep and I missed my stop and it took me all the way to the preschoolers. So I was in a bus full of preschoolers and the bus driver was like, Oh, like, I just have to pick up these kids and I'll drop you back off at home. And I was like, never take the bus again. You can open the cheese one. Here we are. Ooh, what kind of juice did you get? I got fruit punch. You got Pacific Cooler, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. They didn't give us the stick. What stick? The spread stick. The red stick. What stick? Am I going crazy? Yeah. They give you a spread stick. How else are you supposed to spread this around? What are they doing? I, I guess really now you just have to do the swirly method, which also works, but it's not as fun as the spread method. So, did you ever like heat up your pizza? Oh yeah, in college. I don't know why I was eating Lunchables in college. You were eating these in college? <laughs> they're just so fun and they're so good. Look, the pepperoni is like the same size as the pizza. Ooh. Is the pepperoni the same as the snack pepperoni? I think so, yes. All right, here goes. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. The tomato sauce is iconic. Or the pizza sauce. Why was I so hyped for these when I was younger? This is not that exciting. Here, enjoy mine. Mine is really good. Mmm, you're good too. That's nasty. You know what's like so interesting? It doesn't take much to like satisfy you when you're younger. Like look how simple and bland this is. I mean it's not that bland but like the bread is like really like minimal. And like we were hyped over this. Very much hyped. I think kids are and still hyped. Yeah. yeah they're still hyped. We're like oh this is like not good. Well I think it's good. Like if you compare this to like the lunch we eat now it's so simple. Right? And it's like we get super excited to make it ourselves mm -hmm. when now we're like, I want it made. I'm okay off of it. I'm excited for this one. Big kids, graduated. We're graduating. This is like middle school or high school. College. <laughs> I think Liz is the only one in college who's eating Lunchables. This is college. My favorite part of these Lunchables is this crunch bar though. Really? I this hated when you get Butterfingers. <laughs> that was the worst. They gave me airhead. That's lit. White flavor too. Mystery. You really lucked out. Yes! Okay, this one you have to press in and lift to open. <laughs> Am I like, why is this so hard? Dang, these middle schoolers must be strong. Jeez. Oh. Whoa, this one's a freaking pack. That's a lunch box. They give you mayo, Rice Krispie treats. Yes. Yes. Cheese it. An entire water bottle, yes. a sandwich, and some deli meats, and they give you this Kool-Aid powder that you put into your water. It's like the more work you have to do, the better it is. Look at all this. Look at the spread. Wow. You want to do the water and the Kool-Aid? Yes. And I'll do the sandwich, I guess? Okay, so they give you this little stuff. I also love how mini everything is. Look how mini this is. It looks like a hot dog bun. It does, that's what I was thinking. Here is the sandwich stuff. Oh, there's two different meats. Ham, turkey. And cheese, look at the cheese. I love oh. how they give you these blocks of cheese and they're so tiny. So you're working at Subway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, you guys want some of my lunch? Wait a minute, I gotta make it first. <laughs> so this is a... I think you drink some of the water first. Like, sip some from the top so you could shake it. I can't move. Okay. That changed colors really quick. Mm. How is it? Well, it's just watery because you gotta sit, shake it up. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, the sandwich is done. It smells good. <laughs> wow, it does actually does. The, the cool lid or the sandwich? No, your sandwich. Okay, well, it's done. Look how cute. It's still. Hmm. Water. Not enough meat. You didn't put any sauce. 
Oh, I forgot the mayo. I don't understand the hype around mayo though. Mayo is like not good. Do you like mayo? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm hmm That's too much bread to me. There you go. Perfect. This is a sad amount of meat to bread. I know. Mm. Good? Oh yeah. You can have your sandwich. <laughs> you can put some of the pepperoni in it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, cheese it's can't fail with that. Oh, you know what we're supposed to do? Well, we're definitely not supposed to do this, but we're gonna do it anyways. You gotta put the cheese it's on here. That's genius. That's why they give you the cheese it's. Uh, uh lunchables. Alright, now this is a loaded sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. Mm mm mm. -mm. We're sitting here eating Lunchables. Like, what is our life? <laughs> In a bus. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Good, right? Mm-hmm. And the rest That's way better. Yeah. Dude, there's so much in here. This is like a hefty lunch. How many calories? I think it said 500 or 470. 470. We added pepperoni, though, so make it like 500. Oh, so good. Okay. Okay, so we have dirt. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we move on, which one's your favorite? I want to say the chicken nuggets, but I don't know. For some reason, this one was really fun. This pepperoni snack. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Mine is still the pizza. Pepperoni pizza. I'm getting like a sugar rush. Comment down below if you guys have a favorite Lunchable and comment down below if we've tried it today. We're gonna move on to these snack combinations. They're basically desserts. I've never had any of these. So this is gonna be our first time trying these. S'more dippers. Whoa, that's like Cool Whip. This is insane, what? This is like Dunkaroos. But this is a three-way Dunkaroo. So I think you do this and then you go like this. <gasps> oh no. Oh, that's okay. so fun. Okay. Is it marshmallowy? Oh, so good. Oh, <laughs> so good. <laughs> it kind of tastes like um, Teddy Grahams. These are really good. This is next level genius. Who came up with this? Okay, I don't think the other ones can top this. I know. Oops, I'm sorry. I got it on here. You got it on my Ugg? What the heck? I got it on her Ugg. Denise is my only pair. My mom's gonna buy me another one. It's okay. Oh, it's so good. Dude, if my kids ate this, they, I feel like they would have so much energy because all the sugar. Yeah. Not that I have kids. This is so good. This is so good. Okay, Moving on to cookie dunks. That's 10 out of 10. I don't even think anything can top that. Agreed. But who knows? We may be slightly surprised. Oh, this one's a marshmallow dip too, but it's cookies. Wait, it's marshmallow too? Actually, it might be icing. Oh. Ew, these cookies are so fat. Like, they're so, like, thick. Oh. Whatever. I didn't like you saying that about it. I know. Wait, I think it is marshmallow, right? Looks the same as... Yeah, yeah it's like the same texture. Okay. So you dip it in the marshmallow, and then you dip it in the sprinkles. Pretty. Oh, moving on. Okay, so these s'mores are bomb. They're so good. These cookies are like whatever. And we're gonna move on to the last one, dirt cake. Oh. Chocolate cookie crumbs, frosting, and gummy worms. I never liked gummy worms with chocolate. Never tried it. That was like a thing. It was like worms and dirt or something. It's like, oh, what's it called? Whoa, chocolate. It seems kind of weird. Chocolate and gummy worms. Does anyone else see that? That's like a thing when you grow up. Or you know what it is? At um, Applebee's, they have like a dessert for kids and it's a cup of dirt or something. It's with, like also a Halloween thing. With gummy bears and... With worms and pudding and this. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a fan of mixing the candy with like sweets, but I guess they're all sweets. So you dip this in the chocolate frosting and then you put this in the Oreo. Ooh. That's what it looks like. It's a worm fresh from the dirt. The gummy worm is good separate from the chocolate. This is the ultimate though. Here, try one. Worm! Weird, right? I don't know why anyone would put gummy bears and um, chocolate gummy together. Worms. Yeah, gummy worms and chocolate together. But here, try this. Get the graham cracker, dip it in the marshmallow, dip it in the chocolate. We're mixing. Yeah. Cross contamination. 
and dip it in the Aria. Oh yeah. This is gooey madness. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's really messy. <laughs> Dude, this marshmallow stuff is so good. Yeah. The chocolate's really good too. Yeah. This is still undefeated, the s'mores dippers. Now I'm gonna go on a sugar high. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Yo, you say you're gonna sugar. Mm. Oh my god. Honestly, these chocolate chips are like so good. The verdict is that the s'mores, if you guys ever get the Lunchables that are for like these little dipper snack thingies, the s'mores are by far the best ones out there. Take it from us, we've tried them all. We're experts at this point. I need something to wash down all that sugar <laughs> with <laughs> more sugar. <laughs> That was our Lunchables review and taste test. Guys, comment down below which one of these Lunchables is your favorite. And next time, maybe we'll do a part two and fly one of you guys out here to taste test this stuff with us. Make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you guys would wanna do that. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.